Good morning everyone. In this math video lesson, we are going to discuss solving rational equation. Now we we'll proceed to example number five, number 1. 65 minus x all over x is equal to 4 plus 5 over x. So this is a rational equation. So the first thing to do is to keep in mind, so isa sa isip natin kung ano ba yung restriction ng ating equation. So yung x mo ay bawal maging 0 because bawal ang 0 sa denominator. So sinulat agad natin, x must not be 0 kasi pag 0 yung x, so magiging undefined yung ating equation. So, next step is to get the LCD para makancel out natin yung mga fraction doon sa ating rational equation. So, ano yung LCD sa ating equation? So, the LCD is x. Okay? Kasi ito, meron siyang imaginary one. So, hindi na natin siya sinusulat. And then, the next step is to get the nakuha mo yung LCD, you proceed to math to buy. So, sa previous discussion ko, kung manood kayo sa ating video, uh, diniscuss ko kung paano tayo mag-simplify ng rational expression. So, when we say math to buy, we multiply all throughout, okay, doon sa ating expression, yung ating LCD. So, kung ano yung ginawa mo dito sa left side, gagawin mo rin. So, multiply mo rin siya doon sa ating right side ng equation sa iyong LCD. Okay po? Yan. So, x times 65 minus x all over x. So, cancel mo lang po yung x mo dyan. Kasi pag nag-multiply tayo, ang matitira dyan is 65 minus x. Okay? And then, proceed dun sa ating right side. So, since this is dalawang term, separated by plus, distribute mo yung x dito sa 4, and then dito na sa 5 over x. Okay po? So, x times 4, we have 4 over x plus, so, 5 over x times x, so, cancel na rin yung x, since same lang naman, so, ang matitira po ay 5. So, now, na wala na tayong mga fraction, wala na denominator, we can combine yung ating equation. So, gagawin natin is to underline yung my x, para hindi tayo malito. So, kapag ganito, i-combine natin yung x. Since nandito siya sa right side yung positive, so, i-transpose na lang natin itong may negative doon sa kapila. So, anong mayayari sa kanya kapag transpose? So, copy natin yung 4x. Magiging na siya pong positive plus x. So, yung 65 sa baba, sulat lang natin. Then, transpose natin yung ating 5. Dito sa kabilang side, magiging na siya negative 5. Okay? So, combine na natin. 4x plus x, we have 5x. 65 minus 5, we have 60. And then, we can now simplify the by dividing by 5. So, simplify na natin. Ang x mo ay magiging 12. 60 divided by 5 is 12. Okay. So, what, what can you observe? Your x is not equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 12 is a solution. Okay? Now, we proceed to our example number 2. Okay? So, x over x minus 2 plus 2 over 3 is equal to 2 over x minus 2. So, in this particular equation, so, tingnan ulit natin kung ano yung restriction natin. So, saan magiging 0 yung x mo? So, magiging 0 yung x mo kapag yung yung x mo ay equal to 2. Magiging 0 yung denominator mo. Okay? So, that is the restriction. So, just keep that on mind. And now, we cannot proceed by getting the LCD. So, in this case, the LCD is 3 times x minus 2. Because, as you can observe, meron tayong x minus 2 dito. And then, 3. So, para makancel yung mga denominator natin, ang LCD niya is 3 times x minus 2. And then we multiply. So, 3 x minus 2. Ayan po. Multiply natin siya sa x all over x minus 2. Okay po. Plus 2 over 3. Sa kabila naman, 2 over x minus 2. Ayan. Multiply natin siya sa 3 x minus 2. So, 
we multiply. So 3 times x minus 2, multiply natin sa set x over x minus 2. So cancel dito yung x minus 2. So makitira is 3 times x, that is 3x. Plus, kasi dito, and then sa kapila, distribute natin. So 3 times x minus 2 times 2 over 3. So dito, cancel yung 3. Yan, cancel yung 3. Matitira is 2 times x minus 2. Okay, and then on the right side, so para hindi kayo malito, just keep the alignment po ng ating equation. So, 3x minus 2 times 2 over x minus 2. Ano yung pwede natin makancel? x minus 2 dito sa denominator. Ang matitira sa taas is 2 times 3. Diba? Napakasimple. So now, we, we can proceed to combine like terms. So, simplify pa natin. 3x plus, this is, we're going to distribute this 2. Dito, and then sa kapila. So, 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times negative 2, negative 4. Is equal to 2 times 3, the answer is 6. Okay. You can now combine like terms here. Underline yung may mga x. 3x plus 2x, that is 5 over x. Ano pa ba? Dito sa kabila, transpose mo po yung negative 4. That will become positive 4. 6 plus 4. So, continue, simplify. 6 plus 4 is 10. Divide both sides by 5. Your x is now... So, what did you observe? Di ba sa restriction natin, bawal maging 2 yung x. So, in this equation, this is not a solution. Okay? So, this is not a solution or the solution set is empty. Okay po? Sample number 3. 4 over x minus 2 plus x over x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 2 all over x squared minus x minus 2. So, what can you observe sa atin? So, meron tayong trinomial. Okay? So, what pa rin natin kakalimutan yung ating restriction, which is, yung x mo dito sa denominator, bawal maging 2. It should not be 2. Yung dito naman, it should not be negative 1. Okay? Para hindi maging 0 yung denominator mo. And then, since meron tayong trinomial, how do we get the LCD of that? So, tinuro ko doon, doon sa ating previous discussion. So, madali lang kapag ganito. Because this is a trinomial. Tapos, eto, what can you observe? Coefficient niya 1. Okay? So, meron siyang pattern. Ano? Ang ginagawa natin doon, since this is a trinomial, this is a product of two binomial. Right? So, kapag wala yung coefficient, sulat mo na agad na x. Kasi when you multiply this by full me point method, x squared na agad yung lalabas. So, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo, may pattern siya. Tapos, kapag multiply mo yung first and the last term, the sign is negative. So, kapag negative, expect mo na agad na unlike yung magiging sign niya sa gitna. Right? Para hindi na kayo malito. Tapos, since negative siya, then negative din dito, so, dapat, yung mas mataas na number ay nasa negative. Diba? Sa ating integer. So, ano yun? Saan ko siya isusulat? Isusulat ko yung mas mataas na number na 2 dito sa my, minus. And then, yung mas mababa na 1 dito naman sa kapag. Okay? So, the factor now is x plus 2 and x minus 2. Or, you can do this para hindi kayo malito. Multiply mo yung first and second, uh, yung last term, yung third term, negative 2. You get the factor of negative 2, mabilisan lang, na dapat ang sagot ay negative 1 kapag kinambay. So, ang factors niya is negative 2 and positive 1. So, parehas lang siya. So, ito lang, nilagay ko na lang, mas madali. And now, we can proceed to matubay. So, we can now matubay the LCD. The LCD is x plus 1 times x minus 2. Okay, so, 4 over x minus 2 plus x over x plus 1. So, gawin din natin siya sa right, sa right side. x squared minus 2 all over 
yung ating na factor na dito, x plus 1, x minus 2. So, ganun lang po kadali. And then, you multiply it by the LCD. Okay, you can raise this. x plus 1, x minus 2. Right? So, ayan. So, we can now multiply. So, sa pag-multiply, observe lang natin na kapag dalawa siyang term, kagaya nito, ito, itong dalawa, you're going to distribute that. And then, dito sa ka, pangalawa. Okay, so, we can now cancel x minus 2 here. So, ang matitira is x plus 1. Yun na yung imumultiply mo doon sa 4. x plus 1. Ayan na siya. So, dito naman, sa pangalawa, multiply natin itong LCD sa pangalawa. Cancel natin yung x plus 1. x plus 1. Ang matitira sa kanya is x minus 2. Yun na po yung i-add, i-multiply mo dito. x times x minus 2. Ayan na po. And then, sinabi nga natin dito, yung ating equal, align lang natin. And then, x plus 2, x minus 2, multiply by x squared minus 2, all over x plus 2, times x minus 2. Ang sagot natin is, cancel mo na to, x squared, x squared minus 2. So, mas maganda class na kapag after nyo magmatubay, observe nyo na agad. Kasi baka may naumit kayo, may malik kayong side, right then and then po, malalaman nyo na agad. Okay? So, observe nyo ulit. So, ayan. So, kung wala na, tama naman yung pagkakasold nyo, you can now Continue simplifying. Okay? So, this is, distribute nyo to 4x plus 4. Okay? 4x, 4 times x, plus 4. Distribute nyo rin po ito. x times x, careful kayo, x squared. Yan. x times negative 2x, the answer is negative 2x. So, careful tayo sa sign. Equals eto x squared minus 2 so yung may mga ano di ba sabi ko sa inyo yung kapag naka x squared underline nyo ng 2 times para hindi na kayo malito so this is ano to check muna natin ha transpose muna natin dito yung x squared this is x squared minus x squared so that is additive inverse, di ba? So you can you can cancel this. Or kapag magka yung isa, yung x squared ay nasa left side, yung yung isang x squared ay nasa right side, you can cancel that out. Right there. Okay? Right there and then cancel niyo na agad or kung gusto niyo gawin niyo pang ganito. Okay? So that is the same. So kinansel ko na siya doon, so hindi ko na siya ilalagay dito. Dito naman, 4x, copy mo yung 4x, yung may mga x naman, tsaka negative 2x. ba? So, ilan lang matitira? 4x minus 2x, the answer is 2x. So, dito naman, 4, alin pa yung hindi natin ako combine? 4 and negative 2. So, if copy negative 2 here, Transpose natin yung 4 sa kabila. This will become negative 4. So, 2x is equal to negative 6. Divide both side by 2. Cancel. The answer is x is equal to negative 3. Is that a solution? x is equal to negative 3? Yes, because hindi siya 2 and negative 1. Therefore, x minus 3 is a solution. So, thank you so much, guys. So, I hope na intindihan nyo yung ating uh, solving rational equation. So, meron tayong part 2 naman kung saan tuturuan ko kayo gamit yung cross-multiplication technique. Okay? Thank you. See you.